is unique to the Supernote. So I'm not saying other platforms couldn't do it. I just don't know how they would do it yet because there's a specific community plugin written for the Supernote that allows real-time recognition notes that we were talking about earlier. And, and let me back up a minute. You can bring in notes regardless. So the plugin just brings over a note file and it analyzes that. So if all you want to create is an archive for your handwritten notes in Obsidian, you can do that. You can just drag those into your vault. Obsidian will recognize it if you have the plugin. And when you click on that note file, you'll be able to see your handwritten notes. And from that, you can generate, if it's a real-time recognition note, a markdown file. So it'll read all of that text and it'll give you that information. You can generate a PDF or an image. So that plugin is super, super powerful for what it does. And I find myself generating a markdown file, generating a PDF, and then pulling the PDF into the markdown file, and then putting the overall note back into kind of a, an attachments folder and just letting it be. And then I refine my notes in Obsidian and I do all of the linking that I want to link there. So it's like, oh, well, this these five people were at the meeting. Oh, well, I have a contact card for all five of these people. I'm going to make sure their names are listed so I can click and see where they are and what other groups they belong to, who else they know, how many meetings they've had with me, all of these really cool things that that platform lets you do. And then I also have the handwritten note there for reference. So if I ever need to refer to it or if the recognition, so if you write something on this side and this side in, you know, a column, the handwriting recognition will just put that wherever it sees it. And sometimes you have to fix that within, as you refine the notes. So it's not good at kind of recognizing a handwritten column. And I don't think any of them are really good at that, but it's, it's hard to do. It's hard for it to say, oh, wait a minute, they're writing this side by side and there's a gap. So sometimes it'll shove it up or below some other text. So it's nice to have that visual representation there to be able to refer back to, or if the handwriting missed something, or if it's a graphic that you drew. So there's a lot of different things that uh, it's really good at, uh, but it enhances the Supernote platform in a way that I don't link as much in Supernote as I used to because I keep that in this platform because it's more efficient.